look at when you watch maybe Drew Brees on the field, especially the game he had on Monday night, if you watched that at all? I saw a little bit of the game. Um, obviously, he was on fire. You know, kind of a cool moment for him, a guy I, I respected for a long time uh, as a person, as a player, kind of followed his career, you know, going back to my days in, in high school. So uh, to be able to, uh, to see him break that record, he, he sustained success for a long period of time, and, uh, you know, I was happy for him. Right, how important is it going to be for you guys to just focus on the task at hand and not scoreboard watch or worry about, about what other teams are doing in terms of getting the help you need? Oh, it's critical. I mean, we can only control what we, what we can control. And, you know, that starts today in practice. Uh, obviously, got a, off to a good start this morning in meetings, but um, it's going to have to continue throughout the week is, is just purely focus on, on what we can do to get better and then go out and, and play well on Sunday. I mean, obviously, we need some help at this point, but uh, that's not going to matter if, if we don't take care of our business. So uh, it's really crucial for us to, to go out and, and execute and play well. Deep ball, Ryan. Um, do what? I said, were you pop on uh, Texans Buccaneers on Saturday? Uh, I don't know. It kind of depends where it falls in my my um, pregame routine. Um, I'm not even sure what time that game is. So uh, just look to have my, my normal Saturday, and if I have time for that or, or if it fits, I um, may see a little bit of it. But it's definitely not something I'm, I'm making a priority. You had more success with, with deep balls this year, Ryan, especially as the season has gone on. It's, as maybe you've had in the past. I wonder if that's been a focus for you. Uh, not really focused. Just uh, I think we've had some good opportunities. Guys making plays down the field uh, for me. You know, you, you go back throughout the season. Multiple guys have made those plays down the field. So um, just look to give those guys a chance, and, and hopefully they can make a play. Are you are you doing it any better now than maybe earlier in your career? Or I feel like I've gotten better. You know, throwing the ball deep as my career's gone on. Um, you know, I think early I wasn't very good, and then I've kind of feel like I've kind of gotten to a rhythm the last three or four years. Um, so uh, I can't say that I feel better now than I have the past three or four years. But um, yeah, I have a lot of confidence in our guys down the field that if it's tight or, or if they, you know, they've got a step on a guy that they're going to make the play. Your running has been really good. I guess in the second half it had some, had some issues struggling early on offense. <coughs> how do you think that is, and how much maybe does that need to, to change? Well, you go back, you look at this past game. We, you know, moved the ball first drive, got into field goal range. Obviously, didn't didn't uh, finish it out there. And then the next drive went went down the field and and had the turnover on the goal line. So we were moving the ball. You know, we moved the ball, gave ourselves opportunities. We just have to have to finish those drives. And uh, especially when you play good teams, every time you get into the red zone, have those scoring opportunities, you got to come away with points and and inside the twenty touchdown. So um, I think. Not so much that we got off to a slow start. We just didn't finish finish the drives that we needed to finish, and uh, you know got behind. So obviously something we look to do this week is, is be able to finish those drives, put points on the board, and uh, and get the momentum going. You play with some pretty productive receivers when you were with the Dolphins. But how does AJ, especially as a rookie, kind of stack up in, in that regard? AJ's had a great season. You know I think uh, he's doing some good things for us. He's big. He's strong. He's physical. His run after the catch is really good, and. Um, like I've said a couple times, you know, we just need to keep expanding him, what he can do, and what we're confident in him doing. And, and he's done that. He's, he's gotten better, I think, each and every week. I think his confidence has grown each and every week and his understanding of, of what we're trying to do on the whole. And um, you know, he's made a big place for us. Do you have to be surprised that a rookie's had that much impact in his first season here? I knew he was talented when he came in. Obviously, you know, being drafted pretty high and then um, – you know, early on, just seeing his his physical attributes and, and what he could bring to the table. Obviously, you never know how it's going to transition or translate throughout the season. But he's a guy who's gotten stronger as the season's gone on, and uh, we look to uh, you know just keep expanding his role. Let's say about your relationship with him. You know, last game, 13 targets, and then some of them were pretty tight too. Uh, the kind of a growing chemistry between the two of you guys. Do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it's growing between all of our, our guys. You know, just the longer I play with these guys and, and the more I see, obviously, AJ's been playing well lately. And, um, you know, some one-on-one -on -one situations where we gave him a chance last week. But it's going to vary week in and week out, you know, where that ball goes and, and where that opportunity goes, just depending on kind of on how the game's going. So uh, last week was, was AJ. We'll see, we'll see what happens this week. What does it mean to you to be named an alternate to the Pro Bowl when you came in here beginning of the year not really knowing what you were going to do? Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool honor. Um, but I mean, I, I past that, that's about all it is. It's, it's a cool honor, and I appreciate it. But um, we still have a lot of work to do. So just really focusing on on this week and 
um, you know, whatever happens after that happens. Looking Maybe. forward to a, you know, it's it's obviously you're not going to be on the field with Drew Brees, but a showdown between you know the two passers who are leading the league in passer rating, et cetera. Hey, it's you don't really think about it like that <clears throat> as a as a quarterback or as an offensive player going against uh, another another quarterback. Uh, you think about the defense and, and what you have to do to beat that defense. But um, yeah, anytime I get to go against one of the, uh, the all-time great quarterbacks, it's it's a uh, it's a fun opportunity and, and look forward to it. Where do they do well on defense from what you've seen on? Film. They're a, a physical front. You know, I think you, you look at their front and, and the way that they uh, play fast, play aggressive. Uh, they're penetrating up front. Cam Jordan, obviously one of the best in the game on the outside, getting to the passer, disruptive. On the inside, they're disruptive. Their backers play extremely fast. They're physical. Um, on the back end, they have good cover guys. So you, you look at their defense, it's really a complete defense. And uh, we're going to have to play well. going to have to come out and execute in order to, uh, um, to score points. Any comparisons you think between you and Kenny Vaccaro's situation? You know, things maybe didn't necessarily work out in the end with, with one team that highly drafted, but you come to another organization. I don't know. I mean, everything's everything's different. Yeah, I haven't haven't thought about that at all. But uh, yeah, I know I know Kenny's doing doing a lot of good things for us, and, and you know, I hope to uh, to uh, play well. You know, finish the season out strong. That's good. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.